Hey guys, welcome back to another video. This is Gabe with Indigo Software, genuine Microsoft software for less. In today's video, we're gonna show you guys a few methods to effectively block spam from your inboxes in Outlook. Before we jump into that, if you're interested in purchasing Microsoft Office, Windows 10, Windows 11, remote desktop licenses, or a wide variety of other Microsoft software at a great price, check out Indigo Software. We'll put those links down below. So without further ado, let's jump in. So for the purpose of demonstration, I'm gonna to stick to the uh, legacy or classic version of Outlook. A lot of these features are still gonna be available in new Outlook, but some of them will either be limited or they may be in a different area and a little harder to find. All right guys, so the first thing that we can do is we can manually set an email as spam. This is going to stop us from receiving emails from that sender if we know it's spam, so we can easily go ahead and set that. For example, I wanna block Spirit Airlines. I'm gonna right click over the email and I'll hover over junk. And here I can simply click block sender. As we can see, we get a confirmation that this has been added to our block senders list. And the message now goes to the junk folder. Next up, let's try creating a new rule that can automatically help us to sort these emails to junk. I'll right click on these three dots here and I'll click rule. I'm gonna click manage rules and alerts. Once in here, I'll click new rule. Here we have a few options that might help us to pick up junk emails before they reach our actual inbox. For example, I could select move messages sent to a public group to a folder and then I could just make this the junk folder. I could also do specific word. Let's try that. I could also set other specific parameters or conditions, and then it would have to meet all these conditions to be allocated under this rule. Once at the bottom, I'm gonna click specific words. Towards the bottom here, I'm gonna select junk email. So if I click on the underlined text, this is where I input the value. I'm gonna click junk email to sort it into the junk. Now in terms of the specific words, I want this to be very specific so that I don't accidentally filter out important emails. One that I get a lot that we can see here is you've been selected. It's a pretty common uh, hook for a spam email, if you will. So I'm gonna add that. Next up, I will hit next. Another thing I could do here is move a copy of it to a specified folder. Maybe if I wanted to make like a maybe emails folder so that I could check through these just to make sure I'm not missing anything. Uh, but I'm just gonna go ahead and leave it at this and I'll hit next. And then here we can go ahead and make exceptions. I'm gonna make an exception to if it's sent to only me. In that case, I don't want it to filter. Same thing if I'm in the carbon copy box. I'll hit next. All right, we're gonna call this, you've been selected, junk emails, and I'll press finish. I'll hit apply, and lastly, I'll hit okay. Next up, Outlook actually has some native options for filtering junk. Let's go ahead and see what we can do with that. Again, clicking these three dots on the home tab, I'm gonna hover over junk. And we're gonna select junk email options. Here we can choose the level of junk protection that we want. I can do low, high, or safe. I can also permanently delete suspected junk email instead of moving it to the junk folder. I'm gonna go ahead and select low. This is only going to take the most obvious junk email to the junk folder. I'm gonna leave these two checked and we could also go through some of the other tabs here. But for now, I just wanna configure the options. So I'll hit apply and then okay. Let's actually go back into that and we can configure something called safe senders. Let's say, for example, I want emails to come in from Robinhood because I want to see what these are. It's no reply at robinhood.com. Under the parameters of my junk email options, I can mark them as a safe sender to ensure that they don't get filtered and that they actually do go into my inbox. So we'll type the address here. I'll hit OK and apply and then OK again. All right, guys, that's going to do it for today's video. If you have any questions about filtering out junk email inside of Outlook, drop those in the comments below and we'll get back to you as soon as we can. Again, if you're interested in purchasing genuine Microsoft software at a great price, check out Indigo Software. We'll put all those links down below. As our channel grows, we're constantly looking for new and helpful video ideas to cover. If you have a specific idea, we strongly encourage you to put that in the comments as most of our suggested video topics get made into actual videos. Lastly, a like and subscribe would be greatly appreciated as it helps to support the channel. Thanks again for watching. We'll see you guys next time.